Sepintas tampak seperti peternakan sapi perah biasa. Tapi fasilitas di kota Ames, negara bagian Iowa ini adalah pusat studi penyakit hewan nasional dikelola Departemen Pertanian Amerika Serikat. Fokus penelitian belakangan ini adalah flu burung H5N1. This avian influenza virus, which would normally stay in birds, has gone into more than 20 different mammalian species, more than 100 times in two years. Um, so this group of viruses don't know exactly what it is, but it has the capacity to cross the species boundary. And in this case, it crossed from wild birds into dairy cattle, And then because of agricultural uh, animal movement, um, it has really spread through the dairy cattle industry. Peneliti melihat respons kekebalan tubuh sapi melawan virus flu burung. We do not know nearly enough about how this virus is transmitted among animals. That's why what we're doing right now is really important. Um, so we are evaluating the spread um, on milking equipment, um, but then we definitely need to consider some other avenues too. So kind of more of a traditional commingling, you know, what happens. Vaksinasi melawan flu burung telah lama dikembangkan untuk unggas tapi tidak untuk sapi. The risk to humans is low, but it's certainly not zero. And the more opportunity we give this virus to grow in different hosts, to be subjected to different environments, you know, this is a virus, this is a flu virus. What do viruses do best? They change. Tapi pelajaran dari pandemi virus corona COVID-19 juga digunakan untuk mencegah penularan H5N1 kepada non-unggas. Peneliti mengembangkan vaksin RNA duta mirip vaksin Moderna. We're actually to use that same technology that was used essentially to make a COVID vaccine, but instead of it expressing the SARS coronavirus antigens, it was expressing flu antigens. Vaksin RNA duta ini telah berhasil diuji coba ke satwa lainnya dan baru dicoba pada sapi. So we vaccinated 10 calves, 5 at uh, a lower dose and 5 at a higher dose. Um, and the first question we had was just whether their vaccine would immunize the cattle as a species because no one had tested it in bovine before. The Vaccination phase is over. We're looking for those immune responses to the mRNA vaccine now. Selain vaksin yang tengah diteliti di Iowa, Departemen Pertanian Amerika Serikat mencatat ada sekitar 24 perusahaan yang sedang mengembangkan vaksin flu burung untuk digunakan terhadap sapi ternak. Tapi pengembangan vaksin ini memerlukan waktu beberapa bulan atau bahkan beberapa tahun lagi. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.